So in 2013, um, a friend of mine became the commander of the International Space Station. Normally, like, talking about space is like, I've never talked about space so close to Houston before. <laughs> People are always like, oh, space. But do you guys, like, hear about it all the time? No. Are you burnt out on space? Because I can skip this song. <laughs> No? Okay, all right. So, um, Chris Hadfield is an astronaut from Canada. He also loves to play guitar. So, he was the commander of the space station in 2013. Um, and I just had my daughter. She was five months old. And as anyone knows who had, has had kids, when you have a baby, you're pretty much not going anywhere. So to get a call from space was pretty exciting. Um, and he said, do you want to make some music together? And I was like, you know, dirty diaper over here, the phone here, sure. And uh, I was kind of surprised that he had time to make music when he was up there. I guess they didn't give him enough to do. So I said, sure, let's do it. And he wanted to do the song Space Oddity, which was interesting because I have sung with David Bowie, and that's his song from 1969, which tells the story of an astronaut who uh, dies, basically. So Chris wanted to change the lyrics of this song, which he did, bold move. The astronaut uh, does not die in his version. But he asked me to put some music together for it, so I did, I came up with this floaty kind of intro. And he was like, don't tell anyone we're doing this. I don't know, like, the whole copyright thing in space is a little bit of a gray area. Yeah. So he wasn't sure whose permission he needed to do the song, which space agency. But he did want David Bowie's permission, so I was writing to David. We were in touch by email then, and I said, this guy's going to record your song in space. And he was like, awesome. <laughs> And then we didn't talk for a long time. Um, and it got down to the wire where it was like Chris was coming back to Earth pretty soon and we hadn't really heard from Bowie. We didn't know what was going on. But in the meantime, we had created this whole track, this new version of Space Oddity, and it was Chris's uh, desire to like do a music video up there where he'd be singing the song in space. So. A lot of things happened. There was this big ammonia leak on the space station. No one knew it was happening. And then finally, um, I'm sort of telling the story out of order. <laughs> okay. The ammonia leak happened right before Chris came back to Earth, but maybe like a couple weeks before that. Uh, Chris really wanted Bowie's permission, so I wrote to David and I said, one month left in orbit. <laughs> and that got his attention, and he wrote back and he said, How can we help the Astro Man? <laughs> and he got his whole team involved, and he got really excited about it, and gave Chris permission. And apparently, Bowie didn't own that song, it was the one song he didn't own, so we had to go through all these hoops. So finally, it all happened, the song was done, Bowie was into it, uh, Chris shot this video, he was floating around in space in his white socks, and it was really cool because you could see the earth in the window of the space station, and uh, his voice sounded really beautiful without gravity. I thought, I think many times he should just go back up there so he could make more music. Expensive idea. Anyway, so uh, the video came out and it went totally viral, so millions and millions of people saw it and loved it. Um, and David Bowie really loved it. I was really happy that something like that happened for him at the end of his life. So I'm going to play that song for you now. I, I sometimes sing the Bowie lyrics and I sometimes sing the Chris Hadfield lyrics because I just get easily confused, as you can tell. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone wants to, we actually do need someone to finally do the countdown. Who will do the countdown? Will Dale? Do you know how to do it? 
Yeah, you'll just feel it in your soul. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. And then I do need you guys to clap. Okay. Okay, so I don't even know if you guys know this song. Just do what you like. Ready? Three, four. 